Welcome to another segment of Budget in Focus. I'm Stacey Carmichael, and now I'm joined by Member of Parliament, Hemraj Rajkumar. It's a pleasure having you on Budget in Focus. I, I must thank you also for your kind invitation. It's a pleasure to be here too. Okay, well, we're discussing Budget 2018. Could you give us a general overview of the budget and some of your thoughts on it? Of course. Uh, budget 2018, the government in, this government intends to spend $267.1 billion dollars in providing, continue to provide a good life for our citizens. Uh, it's a very comprehensive document and I believe that, it, and I support this government's effort in providing a good life for our citizens. Um, we will be spending uh, four, four to one, uh, approximately $41 billion on education and that for me is a really a good in, in initiative by our government. Uh, we will have a uh, $2.4 billion being allocated to the University of Guyana as a subvention so that our students can enjoy proper, more proper facilities uh, in acquiring tertiary education. Um, uh, they would be also spending in implementing or improving the infrastructures of our school, schools throughout the country. Um, and one important thing I must mention that in our region, Region 2, uh, the school feeding program will be extended now, not only to the, the schools on the coastline, but uh, schools in the riverine area, so schools in the Pomeroon River will benefit. And this is most welcome to the students because you see Pomeroon and Pomeroon is, is some, uh, somewhat, have some, uh, some challenges. Sometimes children are unable to go to school because well, they, they, they don't have anything to, to put in their, their, their kids. And um, I believe this in initiative that most students will attend school and they will do well. Okay, thank you. And you mentioned you're the representative for Region 2. What are some of the developmental plans that you have for that region come 2018? Well, before we go to 2018, um, I would like to review some of the things that no problem. we mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. in 2017. In 2017, infrastructurally, we had uh, the building of roads we have uh, upgrade of streets. Um, we had we had uh, um, the buildings, buildings being uh, refurbished. Refurbished. Um, we had uh, we had I in 2017. Government had promised that the the, the, the citizen in Region Two will be given three uh, new generating electric, electric uh, generating set. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we were unable unable to. So let's say um, deliver on our promises before uh, December. The engines are in this country; they are in Guyana. But the only difficulty we have now is that was that the contract for the building of the the housing, the, the house, the generators were given in August, and only in October the construction started. So we have to wait until the construction of that uh, facility is completed, and the and the uh, fixing of the generators, installation of the generators, and then from, I believe, we will get a uh, reliable uh, source of electricity. Um, one of the things too in our region is the, that our police stations uh, have been upgraded. Uh, currently, the, 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 the station at uh, Aurora, Aurora uh, police station was de completely demolished, and now we are seeing the construction of a brand new facility. Um, in the region too, we had uh, built, but not yet commissioned, uh, the, the, uh, the house that where the judges would normally would stay. Um, we have that, a very beautiful modern building, which has not been commissioned as yet. We also, in the process at Saudi, um, we had demolished uh, living quarters where the officers would, would normally live. It was old and dilapidated, now it's, it, it's gone to the ground, and we are building a, 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 a modern building there as well. So mm -hmm. I think in the the, field of, uh, the sector, infrastructure sector, we did well last year. Now this year we intend, in fact we had started uh, um, repairs on the Supernam Stellin, which is not completed, but in this year's budget there are additional sums for the completion of the, the Stelling. Mm. Um, one of the things I would like to mention as well, in Region 2, uh, under infrastructure, there's this group called the Core Group. Uh, the, is a committee for the restoration of the environment. Um, ten persons are being employed by that under that um, 
under the Ministry of Infrastructure under this project. Um, they are being paid about sixty thousand dollars per month, and they are being their job mainly is to clean the road shoulders. They would do cleaning of government and school compounds, and they would assist uh, senior citizens in their cleaning of their yard. I think it's a good it's a good thing uh, in assisting the citizens of our region. Um, schools are benefited, and private citizens who cannot afford, the old pensioners mostly, cannot afford to clean their yards, are given the, uh, we, are, we give them the, the service free of charge. And I think that's a good thing, because we must uh, also respect the contribution of our, of our, of our uh, pensioners and the person who would have contributed to the development of our country. And this is a small way, I think, this, you know, people in the region are being benefiting from our, our, our projects. So what are some of the, you mentioned um, health as well, what are some of the priority areas or the priority projects that will be undertaken oh. in 2018? In, in 2018, the Saudi uh, Operation Theater is not, is not commissioned, it's not functioning. So in 2018, government intends to reconstruct the operation theater in Saudi public hospitals. In fact, it's the regional hospital, so that the referrals to Georgian public hospitals hospital would be reduced. Um, it's by the the fact that the the theater is not functioning. It's putting a strain on the regional health system because we all have to, on several occasions, refer patients that could be handled at Saudi to Georgetown. Mm -hmm. um, the Oscar Joseph Hospital. A charity, as a district hospital, uh, they had some work done there. there. There was some rehabilitation work done to the, the hospital. The male and female uh, wards, I think, was was expanded and upgraded. The the, to the floors were tiled, and I think it's a good a government effort. Must be complemented because we're trying to you know provide a, an environment where people would be comfortable when they're institutionalized. Mm -hmm. um, we also had some difficulty with uh, the drug procurement and indeed I, uh, there was some shortage of uh, medications but we are, we are getting there slowly and by in 2018 I'm sure that with the, the money that is uh, budgeted for region we will overcome the challenge. Okay, you mentioned um, the revolving fund. What are some of the business ventures that um, may be undertaken in Region 2, the communities in Region 2? Well, as, as I said, the, it, is, it is really for young people who will have a sustained uh, business with, with um, in, in, you know, a business that was, is environmentally friendly. Now, I, there, there are lots of people in Region 2 who, who are in agriculture, chicken rearing, Pig rearing, you know, small businesses, which who, when applied and granted, would benefit tremendously from these these loans. These, you know, sometimes people just want a little invest uh, help with investments to to start their businesses. Um, in fact, business like those have been establishing in the region, where young persons uh, were given grant. I think it was under the S the sledge the sledge. Uh, Initiative. Some person was given grants, and they would have. Uh, some person went into agriculture in the sense of planting uh, mm -hmm. crops, and some went into the venture of rearing chickens, and they did well. I spoke to some some chil some children in Wakapo who 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 did receive uh, grants and did. They they confessed to me that they they were doing well in their business, and I think that's a good thing because. You know, in in a small way, government government had would have contributed to the earnings capacity of someone. In fact, I think there were about ten persons walk up when I spoke to them. They told me they were benefited. Mm. And what are some other developments that you would like to see in that region specifically? Well, I've been calling for a multi-purpose sports complex in the region, which I think we really deserve. Um, in the past. Our cultural activities were normally held in, in open space, open ground. So you know, the the, uh, the audio, the acoustics, and so on. You won't get a full effect. And our people has been starving for entertainment. Now, a multi-purpose uh, complex would include a one building, 
but it can be transformed from time to time to accommodate sports and activity, cultural activity, and you know, sometimes when our children have a Christmas concert and so on, they mm. can go there, we get the, you know, the modernized theatre uh, look. And I believe that we need those, those development, um, regardless of, you know, we have people from different culture who have uh, different um, musical background. We have the Hindus, they, they would play their, their, their instruments. We have the Muslims, we have the, the Christians. Uh, you know, you could hold weddings and so on. But something that would post up our region, people must will have something that they know they can go to. In fact, I was sh I was sharing the idea that, you know, you have the sporting complex, and you have uh, table tennis boards. You have uh, indoor games that people w would go and play in the evening. Mm -hmm. And I think that 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 uh, initiative would be beneficial to our citizens, our residents in Essequibo. And that, that is w the one of the things that I've been asking for for the past couple of months. Okay, then. Now, what are some, before we wrap up the program, could you give us some final thoughts on budget uh, 2018 and what you would say to Guyanese as well, it relates to that budget? I said, as I said before, budget 2018 is a good initiative, and I think the minister and his staff must be complimented. Uh, um, $267.1 billion is, is not a, a small amount. And um, despite the criticism by the opposition, I, mean, I think that's their job to criticize. And what I know deep in their minds, they, you know, it, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, uh, we will see development in our country. Um, we, our country has been transformed. It is moving forward from 2015 to now. Mm -hmm. Look, um, I was going up the East Bank. I saw the, uh, those, um, the, the walkway. The, 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 I, c I can't remember the correct name for them. Uh, but we, we are moving. We're going ahead. And I'm, I, I, I support this government because you'll find that since 2015, progress continued, never, you know, in anything. But I'm happy we're having the, we're having, um, the fire, the fire boat. I think it's a good initiative, too. And there are many, so many things that Budget 28 brings to us. Um, presently in our region, their development, our economic development, uh, they are, uh, uh, in 2017, there were two supermarkets that were opened, and in a, a few months ago, they had the uh, opening of a furniture factory, multi-million multi dollar businesses. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the people in our region will have faith in this government and uh, the, the economic circumstances, they have faith in it because no one would, would, would invest in an economy that is going down because those millions of dollars have to be, have to be repaid. And I believe that we are going, in, in 2018, we'll see much needed change and the people of our country will be happy. Well, thank you so much to MP Hemraj Rajkumar for joining us on Budget in Focus. And thank you viewers, join us again for another segment. I am Stacey Carmichael.